this mozzarella in carrozza all the way from Naples. It's mozzarella, fried mozzarella sandwich. <laughs> this is gonna change your life. To make Napolitan fried mozzarella sandwich, mozzarella in carrozza, we need a top quality fior di latte mozzarella. And this is a beautiful piece of fresh mozzarella. Three eggs, you might need more if you make it for more people, you might need less if you only make it for one person. About two cups of flour, we need pane di casa, you know, you can use um, sourdough bread, any good bread that you can, artisan bread, please. And I like to use the crust. Some people don't like the crust, you can remove the crust. It's up to you. I don't want to keep it rustic. Salt and pepper and sunflower oil that we want to bring to a temperature of 170 degrees Celsius. First thing to do, we want to cut the mozzarella. Oh, look how beautiful this mozzarella is. Try not to make them too thick, you know, I would say this much. So we allow the mozzarella to melt when we fry it, okay? Okay, oh wow, look how, look, how, look how beautiful this is. Look how beautiful this is. Oh my God. And here we go. That should be enough. Look how beautiful and fresh mozzarella is. Now we want to beat the eggs. Go one. Because we only use a few ingredients for this recipe, you want to use the best that you can get. Put a pinch of salt, a generous amount of pepper generous and now we mix like i said before feel free to remove the crust i like it it's more rustic and it's delicious this is what we do we're gonna put the slices okay get the slices and we just put flour on it okay just do that remove excess flour and we rest it yeah, on the paper. So we get the bread, we do both sides, remove the excess flour, and we rest it here. Now what we want to do is, we want to put one side of the bread in the egg, only one side, just like that. That's the inside, okay? And we let it rest here. Get another slice, and we do that, then we let it rest. Now we want to put the cheese in the egg as well and we place it here now we break this enough do this and we finish this off here perfect now what we do is we cover it and we press press as much as you can press hard so now what we want to do the reason why we did this with the eggs is because we want the, the mozzarella to be sealed. We want the inside of this bread to be sealed so the cheese is not gonna come out and it will be melting when we cook it. Now let's get this slice, place it here. Get the other half of the mozzarella and here we go. Now this is what we do. Get the slice, place it on top and press very hard. Very, very hard. Here we go. Now, this is probably the most important part of the recipe, okay? We need to seal okay this bread so what we do is we get the bread and we merge in the eggs okay so both sides should go in the egg and like that you know like you want the eggs on each side just like that the eggs is gonna seal everything if you don't do this this they're gonna have the cheese going anywhere and you're gonna make a mess now take it out and we rest it here okay do the second one eggs on both sides Eggs on the sides. This is the most important. Make sure the eggs are on the sides. And here we go. Now let, let it rest. 
here. And I will do the last one. See, I use three eggs, one egg per sandwich. So, it was perfect, perfect time, okay. And now we place them in the fridge, just like that, uncovered in the fridge for about 20 minutes, half an hour here, okay? So they set and everything makes love together. The egg does the job before we fry them. Guys, here, as you can see, we have the bread. It's been, it's been in the fridge for half an hour. They're stuck together and that's what we want, okay? Now, when we cook it, the mozzarella is not gonna go out. Look, see, the egg, it's been absorbed by the bread, and now the bread, the edges are sealed. Let's fry them. Let's fry the first one here. Let's put it in. Beautiful. Turn it around quickly. See how, see how the color changed so quickly? Look at that, look at that. I'm gonna keep adding the oil on top. I always have the oil covering the surface, covering the top. And feel free to turn it around. Can you see the cheese is not going out? Can you see? There's no cheese coming out. There are some people who like to use breadcrumbs. Basically what they like to do is you put breadcrumbs right now before you fry and then you fry. Um, that's another option. It honestly depends on what you want to do. I'm going for this option today, but many times I use breadcrumbs too, okay? So up to you. Okay, as you can see, there's no cheese coming out. No cheese is coming out. But right now, we are melting the mozzarella. Oh yeah, let me tell you. It is important you keep rotating them. As you can see, the color is changing pretty quickly. So by doing this, you're cooking evenly. And the mozzarella inside melts. Look, look how much it's changing, look. I think we are pretty ready. I think this is ready. Yeah, a little bit more, a little bit darker. I want to make sure the mozzarella inside melts. The egg protecting the mozzarella is protecting the mozzarella from the uh, oil as well. Okay, so basically the oil is not going to get stuck with the mozzarella because the egg is uh, protecting, is sealing the mozzarella. And the rest of the bread, of course. Guys, here is your first mozzarella in carrozza. Let's do the crunch. Perfect, perfect. Here we go, listen to the crunch. Perfection, perfection. Look, the other side is sealed, the mozzarella has been cooked. Ah, oh, perfect, can't wait to cut it. Now, before you put the bread inside, you have the option to actually put these in breadcrumbs. You can do that, it's actually normal, lots of uh, people do it. But for this recipe today, I chose not to, and it's gonna be delicious anyway, okay? So let's put it in. Lots of people at home choose this option without breadcrumbs, okay? Both versions are heavy, you know, this, this is not a light dish. But this is the most rustic way of doing it. Keep turning around. Uh, you always want to have the oil going on top. I'm gonna keep turning them around. They are ready. As you know, they are ready when it becomes nice and brown, you know? We need to make sure that our mozzarella inside melts perfectly. If the mozzarella is not melted perfectly, mm, we're gonna have a problem. This is a fun process, look. So much fun. I love cooking. All right, let's take this out. Oh, get the excess oil we don't want. And here we go. Let's cover it so we get the, we dry it a little bit. We absorb the excess oil. All right, guys, let's test. Let's see if we did a good job. Let's see. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. Look at this. Look at this. This is the Napolitan. Mozzarella in carrozza, and you are about to enjoy a masterpiece.
and it keeps going, it keeps going. Look how long it is. Oh my God. Guys, this is incredible. This is amazing. Are you ready to make it? Come on. I'm ready to eat it. It's time for me to eat it. How long is it gonna, how long is the mozzarella gonna be? Oh, top quality mozzarella. Look how much it stretch. Look how much it stretch. Oh, all right. This, this is how you now eat it. You go around it, go around and around it like this. And then you bite it. Mmm, 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 mmm. A bomb, yeah. It's a bomb, full of flavors. Mmm, 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 mmm. This is mozzarella and carrozza. Done the Napolitan way, mm, the rustic way. Mmm, mmm. I'm so in love with this. Mmm, mmm, my god. Mmm. I haven't had this for such a long time. I really missed it. It is important to get a good mozzarella. It is so important. Guys, I'm so busy, I need to eat, okay? So thank you so much for watching this episode. I will see you in the next Vincenzo's Plate video recipe. E ora si mangia! Vincenzo's Plate. Mmm, mmm, yum! Mmm, 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 mmm,